Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Tales of Exilia. We're back here again at the, uh, what's it called, stupid, uh, dimensional breach, dimensional breach. We're going to open it up with that dagger. I'm, this is all, of course, speculation. That's what the characters are hoping to do. Hopefully nothing happens. So we're going to open it up with the dagger, go through it, and be able to go back to Riza Maxia. I'm pretty sure that's the plan here. We also going to fight Gaius, I think, at some point Jude, afterwards. You're up. But now, since we've got everyone all good with going into the breach, then uh, we can all work together here. Back to the evil screensaver land. Can we look before we leap? Less looking, more leaping. Uh, not so fast. Is that actually what hanging now? off the edge? You really think we can beat Gaius and Muse like this? Don't tell me you're getting cold feet. I don't think that's what he's implying. Do we need to take care of any business back in Riza Maxia? We can go back? Yes. We can probably return to Riza Maxia from the Temporal Crossroads. Alvin has a point. We cannot expect help from anyone. In other words, we must be fully prepared. Right. We gotta think these things through. We're on our own after all. Good point. That's their way of trying to tell you that you need to get your stuff together because here comes the final boss. Uh, but I want to go back to Riza Maxia. Of course. Ready, everyone? Last one in has to kiss Tifo! Oh gosh, hey, no. No fair! Quick, get in, get in. I gotcha. Everyone go in quick. No one wants to kiss Tifo. He's gonna bite your face off. No need to worry. We're all bound for the same destination. It is slightly concerning that you have we'll to jump the off a doing cliff as a group. to land hey, in it. It's worked for us so far. I guess you're right. Well, looks like we're up. <laughs> I think Mila has to kiss Tipo. I think she was the last one through. Good job, Mila. What? Hey, nice of you to join us. You know, Either we ended up in a different place from last time, or it got a major remodel. It probably got a major remodel. Gaius must have used Maxwell's power to alter things here. Where's Leia? Running around like she usually Where'd you is. Where'd go? I found another breach like the one we came through. Don't tell me you went in it. I did. It leads to Riza Maxia, so that's the wrong way. Or that's the right way. I want to go back to Riza Maxia. Then Gaius and Muse must be that way. This presents a dilemma. I assumed we would just be following the same path as last time. At your age, Rowan, never assume things will be easy. <laughs> well said. We have other dangers to contend with besides Gaius and Muse. Like falling through the giant cracks in these Better keep our blocks guard up. that we're on. Let's go, everyone. I didn't really I didn't really mention it much before. But ooh. What's that? Oh, that's a chest with Omega Omega uh, uh, Omega elixirs. Just go home already. Don't you think you should go home? Even just for a quick visit? Yeah, I want to go home. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll do it. And when Mila toots the horn, he climbs right on board. No, that's not... I was planning to do it anyway. Legit <laughs> Whatever. I was legitimately planning on going home anyway. Don't you want to see your family before we all die? Gaius I mean, has been busy keeping stuff. order in Rashigal ever since Noctagal died. I wonder what's going on back at his old castle in Kanbalar. And that's something that we're going to be investigating. And, uh, let's talk to Balin. We need to talk to him. You don't want to pay Balin a visit? Balin? Why? Are you hoping to hear one of his humiliating stories about my past? It would be interesting. The more you bring it up, the more curious we get. Okay. Oh. Looks like I can directly travel back. Let's, uh... Okay, so on our agenda for today is, uh, we need to go back to Riza Maxia. We need to talk to Wingle in the castle. That was the reason why we didn't talk to him so long ago when we had the opportunity. 
Man, this place is dangerous. You could just slip your foot through here, break a leg, possibly fall into the abyss. It's also a good idea. It's a good thing that they have oxygen in this realm, which we never, of course, checked. We just jumped in, went for it. Though we have been here once, so it's probably safe to assume there's still oxygen. Uh, but we need to talk to Balin, it looks like. I wasn't expecting the Balin one, but that's not a big deal. We need to talk to Wingle in the castle, and we need to go where uh, we dropped the wyverns at. There's another little skit there. Uh, the wyverns that we dropped so long ago. Let's do the Balin one, since we can quick travel to that. A land rife with memories. Fesabel Marsh. Wasn't that the site of a famous battle between Rashigal and Ajul? Yes. Twenty years ago. It's a place that looms large in my life. If we go there, I may remember things that are perhaps best forgotten. That's right. You were part of that war. I'm sorry. That's kind of a dilemma, because now I want to go there. Uh, we'll head to all of them, but I'm going to do a lot of cutting here to save us some time. Hold on, I wanted to read that. Oh, okay. Um, so it's going to... It's going to be a lot of cutting and stuff like that, so be prepared. Um, so let's go talk to Balin really quick, so be right back. Well, I said we'll go talk to Balin, but let's uh, let's listen to the sub-event as well. Pop quiz! How many people do you think live in one of those giant houses in Triglyph? Have you always liked pop quizzes this much? I've never noticed after all this time. Oh, I know. Did your love of pop quizzes awaken while I was dead? She's always liked pop quizzes. Oh. Okay, sorry, I'm grabbing a pen and paper really quick, so I'm gonna have to make another quick video cut. I was gonna do it while I was playing, I thought that one would be longer. So, give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, back again. Sorry about that. Um, so as you can see, we have another sub-event here. I didn't expect to have this many things thrown at me, but I want to do them all. And uh, they're all reasonable things, so I've got a list now. And it looks like I'm going to add to this list, so let's listen to this one I as well. I wonder what Drisel is doing now. She's probably busy missing you. I do hope the loss of Lord Klein hasn't been too hard on her. Okay, so we need to go see Drisel. I just wrote that down on my list while they were talking. Um, I believe... There's... Was it these people over here? Ah, here it is. Okay, this is the one that, uh... They're talking about the big houses in Triglyph. Have you heard the news? The Sven family finally settled on a new patriarch. Took them long enough. Didn't the old patriarch die in that Zenithra accident 20 years ago? Along with his wife, son, and younger brother. Talk about a tragedy. Hey, the real tragedy was the heirs fighting for his title. That sure wasn't pretty. That only lasted, what, close to two decades? Nothing like a family feud to brighten up a day. <laughs> Tell me about it. You wouldn't want to be anywhere near when me and my daughter-in-law fight. Definitely wouldn't want to see that. Svent? Hey, Alvin? Yep. That's my family. They're pretty famous here in Olympias. And where does Gillen fall? He was my dad's little brother, and the head of one of the lesser Svent lines. He always resented my family for having the stronger position in the line of succession. But then my dad died in the accident that left us stranded on Riza Maxia, leaving a young me and my helpless mother to fend for ourselves. So that's how they and got Gillen there. And Gillen saw that as a chance for revenge. Worse. He took advantage of the situation and tried to legally steal my claim to the family leadership. He used this vent name to create Exodus and push the Otherworld Reactor Plan. All so that when he eventually came back to Olympias, he could claim the family mantle for himself. He spent 20 years scheming from a whole other world? Yep. Even I got to admire my uncle's persistence. So if we hadn't stopped him... I'd probably have been erased the moment his plan succeeded. Wow. What about now? Are you gonna go back home? You heard the ladies. There's no place for me there anymore. Besides, I've been a feral dog for too long now. I couldn't rejoin the noble elite. Then... You're all stuck with me. Oh. <laughs> you could at least try to hide your disappointment. I liked that line he just did that Alvin just dropped. 
the you could try to hide your disappointment. It actually had a lot of emotion in it. That was funny. Anyway, now we're gonna go see Balin. And we will be doing a lot of cutting, but since we're so close right now to Balin, I don't really need to make another video cut. So we'll just uh, hop in there and talk to him really quick. I kind of figured, I wanted to do this anyway, but I'm glad they put it in the game that they will actually have new things to say to me before I go and kill things. I imagine you must know lots of embarrassing stories about Alvin. Oh, he, I bet he I does. Do. In fact, embarrassing stories might be the only Alvin stories I know. Oh, come on, tell this us something. I gotta this hear. has got to be really cool. Shall I tell you one? One more word and you're dead to me forever. Well now, this is a conundrum. I know. How about a bet? Truly, an Olympian's answer to everything. Now, now, Alfred, you know better than that. Gambling is a long and proud Olympian tradition. It's a proud tradition. It has some bad points, but it has good ones, too. Would we be betting money? Certainly not. We can choose to bet anything we like. For example... We could bet on whether or not you can find a light leaf clover. If you can, you win. And I'll air out some of Alfred's dirty laundry. What's a light leaf clover? It's a clover with golden leaves that grows on the sides of roads. Olympians consider it a good luck charm. I've heard they once grew along Rasal High Road. Rasal then this High should Road. be a piece okay. of cake. You got yourself a bet, buddy. So betting is a hollowed Olympian tradition? I'm a little intrigued myself. Okay. Let's go check out Rusal High Road. Interesting. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, it's been ages since a light leaf clover was seen on the high road. And some say they might be extinct. I'm sure we're going to be able to find one for this. Alfred, are you really going to waste my magnanimity? This is why I hate gambling. I think he's laughing at us. Look at him. Okay, so he wants a light leaf clover. We, let me, before we do anything, let me check to see if we, by chance, have one. That would be a material, I think. And, of course, this isn't alphabetized in any way, is it? Let's look through the whole thing, I guess. Uh, if it's not, I'll go find one. So, yeah, it doesn't look like we have one, so I'll be right back. Never mind, we have a little sub-event, so let's listen to that really quick. Or Sounds like yeah. our best chance to find a light leaf clover is on the Rusal High Road. We are it's on the a clover Rusal with sun-colored leaves, right? Let the hunt begin. Yep, I'm gonna go look for it. See you guys in a bit. Oh, I think this might be it. It looks shiny. Is this a light leaf clover? Is it? It's shiny enough. Yeah, that's it. Damn it, Balin told me these things were extinct. I wouldn't believe Balin extinct? on everything. You thought they were extinct and let us bet anyway? No, I just... Well... Yeah, basically. Well, all's well that ends well. It's a miracle! We've traveled to an entirely different world, and this is what qualifies as a miracle <laughs> to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is rather funny. Damn, I thought we got them all. But it looks like we missed one. What? You there. Hand over that clover if you know what's good for you. Huh? Are you seriously willing you? to murder we someone found this for fair a and clover? Square. If anyone else finds a clover, we lose our bet. You guys have if a bet too. If you won't hand it over, we'll take it by force. Are you kidding me? We're fighting over a stupid plant. <laughs> God, <laughs> this is so dumb. Time to shine. Okay, no weaknesses. Let's go. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We'll just beat the crap out of him. Ready when you are. One. Got it. Fantastic. There we go. And there we go. Didn't really need that much damage on him, but he'll take it and die. Oh, <laughs> and you, you somehow survived that. Not for long, I, I'll tell you that much. And that's a wrap. That's why you don't take people's stop. plants. Get they get angry. They'll beat the crap out of you. <laughs> that's hilarious. No, we'll lose our bet. We're willing to stake our like lives. That? And what did they mean about a bet? Wait a minute. Do you know something? Best not to talk out here. Let's go back to Balin's. Yes! Now we get to hear an embarrassing story about Alvin! 
This is why I hate gambling. Maybe... Maybe he lied to us and the Lightleaf Clover is actually just used as a betting Let's tool. Let's bring the Lightleaf Clover back to Balin. And then we get our story. This is gonna be good. Like, it's not considered a form of good luck or anything or uh, whatever, whatever it was. It's actually just used as a betting tool, maybe. I don't know. That would be funny. Anyway, see you back over at Balin's. Okay, welcome back. We're at Balin's apartment. Will you now tell us a story because we found you a cool four-leaf clover thing that shiny? Holy, I can't believe you actually found a light leaf clover. Yeah, Alvin if can't either. If we'd have money, you'd have made a killing. All right, make with the embarrassing stories. Oh, well, a bet's a bet. <sighs> Which one are you going to tell them? Let's make it the one about this very clover. When Alvin was five years old, he wanted to do something for Aunt Leticia's, but for his mother's birthday. He came up with the idea of giving her a crown made entirely out of light leaf clovers. Sounds like that could be difficult. Right. Even back then, they were quite hard to find. So little Alvin thought long and hard about what to do. After a lot of thought, he came up with the idea of painting regular clovers the color of <laughs> light leaf clovers. That's brilliant! Is it? Not he really. Gave it to Leticia before stupid. the paint was dry, and she ended up getting it all over her hair. Alvin was even more surprised at this than Leticia was, and he started bawling his eyes out. Out of habit, he buried his face in her hair as he tried to apologize, and ended up getting paint all over his face, too. The end. That's funny. <laughs> That's so cute! Alvin used that to be a, a nice guy. That was a wonderful story. Or at least you tried really to. You loved your mother, didn't you, Alvin? I'll get you for this, Balin. <laughs> Oh, talking about Leticia has put me in the mood for one of her peach pies. Oh, they were absolute perfection. I'd give anything for one more bite, but unfortunately, it's not to be. Balin, you hang on to those memories. She may never have made it back to Olympias, but at least we can keep her memory alive. Even if you asked me to, I could never forget about her, or about you, naturally. I'm glad I made it back. All right, I think that was I think that was worth the extra little bit of time. Anyway, now we need to go back to Risa Maxia. So let's see. Okay, so we're gonna have to head back to the dimensional breach again, and uh, we'll make our way to Risa Maxia. So I will see you once we're actually in the crossroads, just to save a little time. Okay, back again. So I did have to fight somebody. So we'll leave. Billy's got a little bit more GP, so now she's got Mind Reversal, only she probably doesn't have enough room in her skills to actually use it, uh, but uh, we'll do that. Anyway, so we're back now, um, oh yeah, I did want to switch out, we're going to switch out Rowan, oops, for Mila, and Leia for Alvin, just for some more variety. And save right here. Um, so we need to we need to go back to Risa Maxia. We're not fighting, uh, we're not fighting Gaius quite yet because we've got a lot of people to see. And I do want to spend some of our money before we do this. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out which path leads to where. Oh, I see. And then this way leads to... Okay, so this way up here is what leads to Risa Maxia from what I know. Let me go up here and check, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh, hello there. I guess we're fighting you now. Uh, we have that and that. Let's fight the water element first. Ready, Tipo? Yeah, what? Nothing. 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 Oh, wow, yeah. you went down fast. Yeah. Come on, stop guarding, guy. Palm strike. Palm strike. Come on, do something, guy. Stop guarding so much. Oops. It's not really that big of a deal. Yeah. Just pull a free down and beat the crap out of him. 
All right, cool. Now let's open that sadist. I'm a sadist now? Or sadist? Reduces TP. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. Let's see. Honestly, if I gave it to Jude, he could spam the crap out of TP stuff. He really could. But I think it'd do better in the hands of a healer. Maybe not her. What, is, uh, what does Leia have? She has elemental. That gives her a lot of resistance, keeps her from dying. Oh, that's a... <laughs> that's a tough one. What about Mila? What does Mila have? Yeah, yeah, we'll give it to her. Wherever the heck it went. There we go. Let me check something really quick I think I just saw. Do we actually have two of these elemental capes? I guess we do. I know it lowers her resistance a little bit, but it does raise her physical defense, so I think it's arguably better. All Divide. All Divide's kind of cool, but it kind of just slows down battles, honestly. Because it makes your damage go down as well. So let's head back to Riza Maxia. You can now travel between Riza Maxia and Olympias. Okay, cool. Well, that's convenient. I don't have to travel all the way back up there to actually... Oh, I thought I saw a purple thing to actually I'm get up there. I'm hungry, and if you don't eat a lot, you'll never grow bazoongas. You want to you wanna grow those bazoongas. Let's eat something. What do we have here? Let's look through our delicious meals. Oh, that creamy beef bowl looks so good. Yeah, we'll eat that one. Yum. Um. Okay, so on our list... We've got a couple things. Let's go to Drissel first. Wait, no, that one. Let's go check out uh, Rissel, Drissel, Drissel first and see how she's doing. Did we ever get that pink emerald? I don't think we did, but let's talk to him and see if we did. You'll be super accepted. No, I, I, I'm okay. The Naturalist and Sherilton. Remember that naturalist who was researching changes in spirit clones? Yeah, I do. Ah, yes. Perhaps he's completed his research. Yeah, we should go visit him back at the Central Plaza. That would be a good idea. We'll go do that next. And where'd Wingle go? Yeah, we'll check All out that Wingle soon. of the Chimeriad is Wingle. I wonder that where he is. That is true. He is back the only Chimeriad member left. I didn't even think about that. Uh, we'll go check him out. <sighs> Hold on. Got my list again. Let's start writing down crap. So we're going to go see the naturalist. And then we need to listen to this one. We should probably tell Prin about Agria. Yeah, that's the least we can do. I hope she's still at the medical school. 